Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna cover PHP arrays in more detail. Now here's a quick overview of PHP arrays in PHP. Um, we define a numeric array using the keyword array and then inside the round brackets we have our values and the numeric keys are automatically created for us when we define a numeric array and then if you if we wanted to create an associative array we use the same keyword array and then inside the round brackets we specify what the key names are in the single or double quotes and then we use a rocket and follow that by the value okay so let's go ahead and start coding so here's what we're gonna be creating I'm gonna be we're gonna be reading these files and images inside a numeric array in PHP and then we will create a associative array out of it and then finally we're gonna we're gonna create a HTML table out of the associative array that's gonna look something like this so it's a pretty nice looking uh, HTML table and uh, we're gonna accomplish that with PHP arrays alright let's start coding so first of all I'm gonna put up the PHP tags here okay so my uh, directory of the movies uh, where those files are located is inside the movies folder so I'm gonna specify that directory with a, a dir variable and I'm gonna use a function called scan dir which is gonna uh, this function scan dir and it's gonna read the directory and it's gonna put all the files in 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 the array so here's what it's gonna look like if we print out the files array and close that and I'm also gonna use the function called uh, pre r that I've defined earlier in another video so we can print out those pesky pre tags automatically okay so once we use the scan dir function here's what the array is gonna look like as you can see it has read the, all the file names into an array and it created a numeric array out of it now let's go ahead and remove those dots in the first two uh, keys of the array and for that we can use a function called array diff so we're gonna say files which is our array and then diff and I'm gonna specify the array which is our existing array and then for the second one I'm gonna specify another array and the values so what the array underscore diff function does is it compares the two arrays together it compares the first array which is files and the second one that I've just created here and it returns an array which is gonna be which is going to have all the values but the ones that are specified in a second array so as you can see I've printed it here and it's uh, the dots are no longer there okay so as you can see also it has uh, it's not starting from key 0 and 1 instead of starting from key uh, 2 and um, before we start looping through this the, this array I want to reset the keys and for that there is another function called I'm gonna say file files equals array values and then files so that will reset the count back to zero that's what that function is for as you can see it's starting from zero now and now we're ready to work with this uh, numeric array so I'm just gonna comment out all these uh, printing functions and uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create another array called movies and uh, we're just gonna loop through this numeric array called files with all those uh, file names and we're gonna put it all inside this movies array and we're gonna create an associative array out of it and and uh, it'll be e a lot easier to work with once we start uh, creating our HTML table so let's go ahead and create a loop a for loop and just say count uh, files and what the count function does is just counts the files array and returns how many elements are inside the array so that we can uh, know when to end the loop 
once uh, the end of the array has been reached. Next, we're just gonna say I++. And then I'm gonna do um, some regular expressions here using the pragmatch function. And don't worry if you don't understand this regular expression. What I'm gonna do here is just match the, the file names and then I'm also gonna match the year name inside the file names, and I'm gonna store these as separate values inside the associative array. I'm also gonna match the whole uh, image name and store that separately as well. So here's what the regular expression looks like, and again, <laughs> don't be scared if you don't understand what's going on here. I'm just, uh, I'll create another video where I'll be explaining what's going on here. So this is gonna match the name of the uh, of the movie, and it's gonna match the year of the movie, and then I'm gonna specify which uh, since we're looping looping through the array, I'm gonna specify files and then the i, which is gonna be the count of uh, the numeric key, and then I'm I'm going to store everything in the results array. So the pragmatch function takes in three arguments: the regular expression the uh, the value of the array and then finally it's gonna store everything inside the results array so if I'm gonna print out the results array this is what it's gonna look like right now actually let's use the pre r pre r okay so it stored the whole thing in zero and then it stored uh, Braveheart which is the movie name in key one and it stored the year in key two. So that's how the pragmatch works. And again, don't worry if you don't get what's going on right now. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up the movie name a little bit. So instead of, uh, I'm gonna use a str replace function to replace the underscores in the movie names with spaces and I'm gonna provide the results one, which is the movie name. And also I'm gonna capitalize every letter of the movie using the UC words function. And uh, let's see what the movie name looks like now. Just the first one for now. Braveheart, so which is exactly what we want. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use the movie name as an associative key now. So in order to do that, I'm gonna type movies array and I'm gonna place this variable inside the, uh, in place of the key name. And then I'm gonna say image equals files i, which is the image name. And also movies, I'm gonna create another one and this, in, this time place the variable here and for the year, I'm gonna say results two, which is where the year is stored. And I'm, I'm gonna print out the whole thing to see what happens. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted. So the name of the movie is being used as a key inside this associative array. And then the second array, um, second dimension inside the array is created with image name and year. And now we're pretty much ready to work with this array. Let's go ahead and test to see uh, how the whole thing looks like now by printing out the movies array outside the loop. And as you can see, all of, of these, uh, all the movie names are created uh, in place of the key name and the Im image and year are also stored inside the associative key image and year for every single movie. So now we're ready to work with this associative array and uh, create a table out of this. Okay, so I already have some CSS created uh, in order to make that table look nice. So I'm just gonna paste it here. And um, you guys can either pause the video and just type the whole this, this uh, CSS yourself or you can download the file with the this code uh, inside the description of this video. So here's the CSS I'm gonna be using. Okay, finally, I'm gonna use uh, for each loop to loop through the movies array. But before we do that, let's go ahead and 
print the actual table to the screen because the table is going to be living outside of our of our for each loop because we don't want to be printing table more than once okay so I'm just gonna print this table and the first table row is also gonna be outside I'm gonna create a class for it okay so this is gonna be our table and table row I'm also gonna end the table tags echo tr table and then inside I mean between these tags we're ready to loop through our associative array so I'm gonna say for each movies which is our array as movie name which is uh, the variable is gonna hold the movie name and then and movie name is the key in this case and then the rocket and info which is gonna contain the image and the ear values okay so now now we're gonna print uh, table cells so I'm gonna store everything inside the content variable and for the table cell it's TD I'm gonna say class span class equals name just to format name a little bit nicely and then I'm gonna say movie name remember that we can print the variables inside the double quotes and then span and the tag and then use the BR tag and then I'm just gonna press enter wait it's creating a another okay concatenate that and then I'm gonna say image source equals movies info image and then close that BR and then c concatenate that again close this uh, first and then span class equals year and I'm just gonna explain what's going on here in just a little bit just let me type this thing first and then info year and and the span tag and and the table cell okay so what's going on here okay so for the movie name I'm just using movie name <clears throat> I just want to print it out as it is and I'm placing it inside the span uh, HTML tag because we're, we wanted to format it nicely next for the info image where our image uh, file name is located I'm using the image as SRC tag to actually print out the image to the browser and uh, this is a perfectly legal way to, of doing so because info image holds our JPG uh, path and uh, you can actually print out the associative array between double quotes without specifying without enclosing the image in single or double quotes just like that which is very convenient you don't have to concatenate that uh, or use any kind of curly brackets and then for the year I'm doing this pretty much uh, the same thing I've done for the movie name and placing it inside its own span tag and uh, and hopefully all of this is gonna be nicely formatted so now I'm just gonna echo out content to the screen save the file and voila all the movies <laughs> along with their names and year numbers have been um, basically a HTML table nicely formatted HTML table has been created out of this and um, this is the CSS for it and that's it for this PHP arrays video if you guys uh, found it useful please share like and subscribe and I'll see you next time clever techie out